Okay, so hello everyone. Considering that my last two videos were about lights, one was about the H4 LED light, how it is installed, how it functions, and the other one is about how to adjust your headlights, link of which is in the description below. So in this video, we are going to talk about road courtesy when it comes to the proper use of our lights. Now, the lights on our vehicles have different functions. One is we have lights to help us see where we're going. We have our headlights, reverse lights, auxiliary lights like fog lamps. Now two is we have lights in order to help others see us. Now some cars have DRLs or daytime running lights. It automatically turns on when the engine is running. We have side lights in the front, left and right, and left and right tail lights. Now number three function is we have lights to communicate. We have our brake lights, signal lights, hazard lights. Okay, so just remember those three functions. Lights to help us see where we're going, lights to help others see us better, and lights to communicate. Now let's talk about our headlights. As a general rule, we should only use our low beam. Okay? Only our low beam. And the only time we should consider using our high beams is if we are in an open and empty road. So, we should never use our high beams, especially so if there is incoming traffic on the other side of the road. And when there is a vehicle in front of us. Using our high beams is going to blind other motorists. And if you have someone in front of you or you're driving behind someone, your high beam is going to reflect on the rear view mirror as well as on their side mirrors and it's going to shine on them directly in the face. Now, just a little tip. Should you have someone behind you driving with their high beams on, you can flip this rear view mirror temporarily. That way, his light is not going to shine directly on your face. One other thing, if you are in an open and empty road and you are in your high beams, just imagine this to be your car and you are on your high beams. If you see incoming traffic on the other side of the road, switch to your low beams immediately. Okay? That is road courtesy. And switch on your high beams again only, okay, only when you have completely pass each other okay i say this because there are people out there who turn on their high beams prematurely and that is still very blinding please don't do that okay wait until you have completely passed each other okay that is road courtesy please don't give the excuse that you use your high beams because your low beam is not bright enough or is not functioning that's your problem fix it okay as drivers as vehicle owners it is our duty to have a road worthy functioning vehicle and also don't give the excuse that you have poor eyesight that's why you need to turn your high beams on because if that is the case then maybe you should not be driving at all using our high beams carelessly is just selfishly inconsiderate reckless and dangerous just remember this just as much as we want to be able to see clearly at night, other people do too, okay? So it's not always just about us. We should never shine our high beams on other people. Let's talk about lights in order to help others see us better. Now some cars are equipped with daytime running lights. On my vehicles, there is none. But all cars have side lights. Now these lights are intended to make our vehicle more visible on the road to help others see us better. We should turn them on at night or during low light or gloomy weather. And when it's raining hard, that affects visibility. Never turn on your hazard light when it's raining, okay? Remember, we use our hazard lights to communicate, okay? Lights to help us see better lights to help others see us and lights to communicate we'll talk more about the hazard lights in a moment now if you have an old vehicle like mine i would say that's a good idea to add additional lights to make your vehicle more visible 
I also added and glued mirrors inside here. I'll show you. you see that? Now those mirrors are there just so it will reflect more light and be more visible. Now newer vehicles you don't actually have to do that. This thing alone is already highly reflective enough. When you shine a light up against it, it's going to reflect. And what you should not do is, and I see this common among black cars, is they put a layer of black film or black tint over this, just so it will match the black color of their vehicle. Now that to me is dangerous. In fact, there's a data years ago that I've read that black cars are more likely to be involved in an accident at night than any other colors. And that is attributed mostly to a black car being less visible at night. And if you will even make it more or less visible by putting a black layer of tint or film over this thing, and that is just inviting danger and an accident. So please don't do that. You may think that it's cool, it may look cool, but you are inviting danger by doing so. Now let's talk about lights to communicate. First, our brake lights. Now our brake lights will turn on every time we step on the brakes. It doesn't matter if the engine is running or not, or if the key is on or not, your brake light is still going to turn on every time you step on the brakes. Now don't confuse your brake lights with your side lights, okay? It's an 1157 bulb, double contact, double filament, you see? One is for the side lights or the tail light, and the other filament is for the brake light. So your brake light is important in order to warn others that you are actually braking, slowing down, and or about to stop. It's a good thing, especially if you're running at a slightly higher speed, to give this a few light taps first, before you actually slow down and stop the vehicle this way you're already warning those behind you that you're already applying the brakes and is slowing down and or is already about to stop so now let us talk about our signal lights so the purpose of our signal lights is to let our intentions be known to other motorists okay so the idea behind it is to let others know of what you intend to do before you actually do it so before you actually turn either left or right or switch lanes signal first before you actually do it now I see a lot of people they only turn on their signal lights only when they are already making the turn now if you do that what's the use I already know that you're making the turn so might as well not bother with your signal lights. So I repeat, the purpose of our signal lights is to inform others of what you actually intend to do before you actually do it. Now just picture this to be your car and that you intend to make a right turn on this corner. So 10 meters, 15 meters, depending upon the speed you are going, already turn your signal light on to already let others know that on this corner, you are going to make a right turn okay or say if you're switching lanes from this lane to this lane before you actually make the switch turn on your signal lights first that way should there be someone behind you he would already be informed of what you intend to do because if you're only going to turn your signal lights on when you're already making the turn by that time it might be too late and also please look before you turn okay Use your side mirrors, they are there for a purpose. Now let us talk about our hazard lights. Now hazard lights is a communicatory light intended to warn others of danger of an emergency. And you turn this on, if your vehicle has stalled in the middle of the road, or stuck on the shoulder, or temporarily parked, or doing minor repairs like changing tires, or when you're driving very slow, like being part of a procession, like funerals or convoys. Hazard light is a warning light intended to warn others of danger. That you and your vehicle is an obstruction on the road. 
so those are the times that you turn your hazard lights on is okay please don't turn your hazard lights on while driving just because there's a heavy downfall of rain it's confusing like i've said hazard lights are intended to warn others of danger that you are an obstruction on the road and also if you use your hazard lights while driving you lose the ability to use your signal lights now there are those who argue that you can just turn your hazard lights off and then signal and then turn your hazard lights on again again that is confusing because like i've said hazard lights are intended to warn others of danger now if you do this hazard lights on then you turn it off then you signal then you turn off your signal light then hazard lights on again then turn it off then signal again then turn it off then hazard lights again it becomes very confusing what is the message that you are sending are you saying that you are in an emergency are you going to turn left or are you going to turn right or are you again in an emergency so you see it becomes very confusing so please don't use your hazard lights that way you are inviting danger instead of warning others of danger tell you what even if you are to look it up on the internet lto guidelines you are not to use your hazard lights just because it's raining you see there is a reason why the hazard light symbol looks like this now does that look familiar you use this hazard sign to warn others of an obstruction that means you have a stalled vehicle or you are having an emergency you don't go around driving your vehicle with this attached on the back of your vehicle do you you see in the same manner you don't go around driving your vehicle with your hazard lights on just because it's raining now you might argue again because your intention is that you want to be seen but like i've said lights to help us see better lights to help others see us better and lights to communicate while it may be true that you are seen with your hazard lights on but what is the message you are sending so i hope that settles it so now let's talk about fog lamps as the name itself suggests you are to use your fog lamps when there is fog or very poor visibility but just remember just like your low beam and high beam this thing can be blinding so please use it considerately now before i will end this video i would just like to say uh, it's okay to add additional lights auxiliary lights as you can see i have one but make sure to install it and use it in such a manner that it's not going to blind others that light strip attached to my vehicle serves as brake light tail light Backing light or reverse light and signal lights. I have something like this installed too, but I modified it slightly. I'll show you. Okay, it's here. So you see, let me take that out. You see, I just made a visor for this Cree LED bar. Okay, visor is intended to not blind others. Okay, I'll show you. Okay, so it's installed just below this bumper on this side as well this way if i turn it on as you can see the light is level and it does not go above two feet this way it's not going to blind other people so should i choose to not use my headlights i still have that light on okay I suppose you can also install something like this as additional reverse lights but what you should not do is and i've seen other people doing this is they have this installed connected with their brake light so that every time they step on the brake this thing will light up and it's going to shine other people directly in the face behind them and that's just very irresponsible one other thing is please as much as possible do not install red lights on the front of your vehicle Please do not do that because at a distance, 
other people might think that they are facing the rear of your vehicle. And you are just inviting danger by doing so. Please excuse the rain. It all of a sudden decided to rain, so I'm sorry about that. One last thing is, please make sure that all the lights on your vehicle is in perfect working order. Make sure that your headlights are properly adjusted. If you have a busted headlight, please replace it. Otherwise, if you only have one light headlight working, at a distance it may appear that your vehicle is only a motorcycle. So please make sure your lights are working. I see a lot of people also doing this with their motorcycles. One just busted daylight, they cannot even replace that. Please don't do that. Make sure that it's working. It can save your life, it can save other people's lives, okay? Please, don't give the excuse that you don't have the money, that it's expensive, it's not, it's cheap. Don't give that excuse. As drivers, as vehicle owners, it is our duty to have a road-worthy vehicle, okay? That includes lights that are in perfect working order. In all, I do believe that's it. I hope you find this video helpful and informative. I encourage you to share this with others. Let's be responsible. Let's practice road courtesy. Let's all be considerate. Please use our lights in a responsible manner. Just remember, just as much as we want to be able to see clearly at night, other people do too.